I live about 20 minutes from Athens, a small town called Jefferson. It's where I grew up, and then I went to college in Athens. Oxford's uniquely southern, I guess. You cer it certainly feels more quaint. Uh, Athens uh, is sort of a melting pot. You get people from all over the world that are there. Um, you know, you've got this sort of alternative scene. It's a, certainly a southern town. It's a southern college town, but uh, Oxford has uh, a unique character to it that, that you, you only get here. <laughs> There's actually a song that I wrote right here on this balcony because, oh, because when, awesome. I, when I come to town, uh, this is where I always hang out. I drink coffee, I read, and I, I write. And uh, I wrote a song called Beautiful Things that's on um, an album called Hard Headed Fool. I got a problem, I hate to admit. Hell, no one likes talking about it It's the painful condition of every man We'd all be saints here without it It's these beautiful things I'm like a moth to a flame And it's burning my way When I look back, it seems like the most amazing things that have happened in my life have been by accident. Um, and, it, and it worked out where I just, I'd written a bunch of songs and had an opportunity to record them. Uh, and the recordings weren't worth much. I, I, I didn't spend a lot of money to make them and I, I wanted my songs to be heard. So I, I just encouraged people to, to share them, uh, burn them, and I sold some of them as well. And uh, the music ended up spreading around and it spread among college kids. The songs were written um, the, the, that, that first batch of songs were written the, uh, the first year or so uh, that I was out of college. So I was feeling pretty nostalgic um, and a, a lot of the songs were about my time in college uh, or about my coping with the transition out of college and to, you know, being domesticated. Uh, so it makes sense that those songs resonated uh, you know, among college students. It's money and sex. It's money and drugs, it's the longing to look young forever It's reaching for more when you're already full It's all this destructive behavior It's these beautiful things I'm like a, a moth to a flame And it's burning my way We were listening to country radio on the way to meet the bus last night. And it struck me how meaningless the word country is. I don't, I don't know what it means anymore to, to be a country artist because if you turn on country radio, uh, the sound is all over the place. Sure. Some, a lot of it sounds sounds like hip hop or R and B. Uh, a lot of it sounds like uh, you know big ballad rock. Very little of it actually sounds what I think of uh, like what I think of as, as traditional country. Um, so. I think I think country music in general is trying to identify, re-identify itself right now, and I I don't know where I fit into that. Um, I I don't know how useful it is uh, to call myself a country artist. I use the term progressive country because there certainly um, are elements of country um, music in, in my writing. I'm from a small town in Georgia. Uh, I was raised around chicken houses and cow pastures, and at a Baptist church, and was in the choir, and you know, and I was around the um, the racial tension, all the things that, that are characteristic of the South and, 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 and the rural South, uh, are, that, that's the way I grew up. So uh, there's that element there. Uh, however, the things I don't like about country music um, are its t uh, tendency to, to be right down the middle and not say anything controversial or, or um, you know, it's very, from a philosophical standpoint, uh, it's very traditional. Um, and I like rock and roll because rock and roll is about pushing through boundaries and and uh, you know celebrating freedom. In country music, uh, they sing about freedom all the time. But when you listen to the genre, you don't hear a lot of freedom. You don't hear people taking chances uh, and, and saying things that make people think. So I call it progressive country because I, I like to think that it's got elements of country, but it's tr it's a rock and roll philosophy. I, I experimented a lot 
I had more resources at my disposal uh, to, to go in the studio and, and learn. And we uh, departed from what had, had been the norm for me, which was lay down acoustic guitar and vocal and then build all the instrumentation around that. Um, because I'm, as a singer-songwriter, most of my songs start out with guitar and vocal. So it's in, the, in the past, that made sense. Um, on Keeping Up With The Joneses, uh, I wanted to take a different approach and, and really let uh, the rhythm section interpret the song uh, and, then, and then let it sort of take on a new life and apply the lyrics and, and the melody um, to the band's interpretation. So it's a bigger sound, more instrumentation, uh, but I think more powerful and, and um, there's a, more beneath the surface than some of the earlier records. No one promises tomorrow A best laid plan might go to waste Oh baby It all might tumble down around In a holy grace, and we've got a love in our hearts. And now I'm trying real hard to do something good today.